Hi, it's Jason Gorman here from Codemanship with another Code Smell of the Week, or should that be Code Smell of the Day? Right, today we're going to be looking at Feature Envy. Essentially all this means is that a method on one class has an unhealthy interest in the methods of another class that it's collaborating with. This presents us with a dependencies problem because you get a lot of coupling between the classes. Okay, what we have here is an example where we have a method that calculates the motorist risk um, for an insurance quote based on the number of points on the motorist license and the motorist's age. Now, all this method is doing is it's accessing fields of the motorist class. So arguably, this is behavior that really belongs on the motorist class, class since one of the goals of object-oriented design is to put the behavior where the data is. So all we need to do to refactor this is move it. Now I'm going to do this in two different ways. So I'm going to demonstrate the simple way first. Where all I'm going to do is create, um, move this method across, but keep a delegate to the original method so we don't have to make any changes to the test code. Okay, so this is this is the really simple way of doing it. And of course, we run the tests. So now we have this delegate here, um, but our feature envy has been moved over to here, so this is now where it belongs. It's not a completely clean separation. So I'm going to do it again now, but with a clean separation, so that the insurance quote doesn't know anything about these fields and doesn't know anything about calculating the risk for the motorist. OK, so let's uh, undo it. And of course, when we undo a refactoring, we run the tests just to make sure it still works. It works forwards and backwards, remember? OK, so this time I'm going to do it again, but this time I'm not going to keep a delegate here. So it'll be removed completely. In order to do that, it'll need to make the motorist field public so that the test code can see it. OK, and of course we run the tests. So the method has moved again, but this time it's all knowledge of this has been taken out of insurance quote. Arguably that's the right thing to do. But now we have a bit of a mess in our tests. We have a message chain here, so we've introduced a new code smell. To get rid of this message chain, if you think about it, um, we're not actually calling a method on insurance quote at all anymore. So all we really need to do here is um, create a new um, motorist. And we'll need to parse this state of birth string for the constructor of motorist. And we don't need this anymore. So we're just calling calculate motorist risk directly on the motorist class. Ooh, that's a capital D, isn't it? OK. Now, this build insurance quote for a motorist um, test data builder method here, this helper method, is not being used anymore. Let me just run the tests before I forget. It's not being used anymore, so we can safely get rid of it. Which means that our insurance quotation tests are now not actually testing the insurance quote class at all. So it would make sense at this point to rename the class to describe what it's actually testing, which in this case is the motorist class. We run the tests and we're done.